What's up, guys? Welcome to local band Smokeout. Smokeout. Any genre from, from anywhere in the entire world. I, I want to hear your music. Sorry about that, man. Oh, no big deal. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go, yeah, Hell yeah! Yes! Fellas, I uh, I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much. Congratulations on winning that battle uh, a little while back. You guys earned it. You, uh, it was a lot of fun, man. A lot of good competition. But before we kind of deep dive in, do me a favor, properly introduce yourself, plug, promote anything you want, and uh, just let me know whereabouts in the world you are right now. Thank you, man. Uh, my name is Jose. I sing. I play guitar. Um, I write almost a lot of the songs uh yeah. go ahead Ricky. uh yeah i'm ricardo uh i play drums ricardo nunez uh yeah usually just right now like uh we've been going pretty good pretty good just like playing a lot um just doing a lot of a lot of the tracking stuff uh promotional stuff we do have uh the ep coming out like yeah. early next year or, or like during springtime spring next year uh make sure to follow us on spotify it's just yeah. most Combi with a K. If you guys heard the song Beverly earlier, uh, he was playing. That was us. That was me singing. Um, we got an EP coming. Make sure to follow on Spotify. The same name for Instagram, uh, Facebook, uh, whatever you guys use. You guys can look us up, and uh, yeah, we'll we're there. we'll have more stuff up for you guys soon. For sure. How long sure. have you guys been been a band for? Been a band a little after uh, twenty twenty. I mean, um, we kind of met. Uh, I met Caesar first. Our other the guitarist um and then we met ricky our drummer and we were kind of jamming for a while and it wasn't really until um we found our he was our first bassist marty and he played his uh for different bands and um we decided to make the los combis so that was maybe about two years ago and then um earlier this year of 2023 we met our bassist chris which kind of solidified the group yeah so with our uh bassist chris it's been, been uh, going on a year now um so it's still a relatively new project um at most two years but we've known each other for a little bit yeah so i, I bet you're excited to get the ep out because i noticed that beverly was the only track that was on <laughs> spotify so i'm i'm guessing like you're ready for everybody to to marinate oh. in the new music yeah yeah, yeah dude, I mean, much, man. people ask us and like um we feel bad but i think everything has its timing everything happens for a reason and this new ep um it sounds amazing it was produced by one of our friends um Javi uh, Buñuelos that lives out here. He does a lot of bands and stuff. So it's it's really good quality stuff. And uh, we're just very excited for everyone to hear like what we have in store. Yeah, definitely. Are you guys in other projects as well? Because I know you said one of your members is in like a couple different bands. Is it Or is this like your main yeah. nine to five? Uh, yeah. For all of us, I do feel like it is kind of like our main thing. At least like I do play with the, uh, I help, we all help out one of our other friends, uh, Marty Calderon. Uh, I know Marty. I know shows. Marty. Marty yeah, yeah, Marty's Marty. got that like really that like sexy, sexy soul kind of like vibe to yeah, him yeah, a little yeah. bit. Yeah, exactly. He's cool. He's cool. That saxophone. Yeah, for sure. But uh, yeah, like um, helping him out, um, helping another band that's up here, the Lilies. Uh, okay. I don't know if Shout, out. Um, Shout out the Lilies. Um, but for mm -hmm. me personally, like this is kind of like yeah, the nine to five, like the main bread and butter for sure. Yeah, this is our main project, and then I know our Bass is Chris. He helps out with um, another band called The Sways, which are another good friends of ours. Yeah. And then uh, I've only helped out a couple times with another local band, uh, Manantial de Fuego, MDF, and they do more Spanish stuff. So, but this is our main like passion project. Like this is where we feel like at home. You yeah, know? definitely. Hell yeah! Once once the EP comes out, I know you said springtime. What are what are the plans after that? Can we look for like a music videos or like a small like West Coast run or what do you what do you have lined up? You're allowed to tell us about. Yeah, I mean, we're trying to make a video uh, for at least for Beverly, uh, maybe for another cover that we have. Um, we're just we were actually just talking about it, how um, we're taking a small little break and then we're just ready to like hit the ground running. Just um, mm -hmm. trying to get more videos, live sessions, um, play as many shows as we can. Like you said, maybe a small West Coast, West Coast tour, even SoCal tour, just to yeah. kind of get our name out there and be a little bit more serious about the things we're doing, because. Oh, you're saying? 
You wait, wait, wait. Your your signal's kind of going like in and out a little bit, so we didn't we didn't get to hear all the whole answer. Oh my bad. Oh, I got you. Sorry. I just meant like um, we're trying to shoot more videos. Um, we're trying to maybe do a small West Coast run, if not a SoCal run, um, just to kind of get our name out there. Um, just see, trying to build our fan base and really yeah. um, get more of a draw when a crowd when we do play. In the sense of being like, look, this is us, our original stuff. Um, trying to find that true dedicated fan base, and um, that's kind of what the next move is with the AP. So when people sub, they have something solid to fall back on to have videos, so they know our faces, who we are, and uh, what we're trying to do. And I mean, everything has been positive, so I think it's just putting in that work of like, let's move forward, let's do more with this. Definitely, hell yeah. Definitely, I yeah. Earlier, you mentioned that you did bring some hot sauce. Yes, we do have hot sauce. Yes, we do. Oh, okay, sure. can, can we know <laughs> how hot it is? Because I'll go equally as hot or hotter, and whether you get the trivia right or wrong, I will do hot sauce just to you know relieve the stress. But the cool, <laughs> the cool thing is, you guys have the advantage. If can you agree on a movie or TV show? that you've seen so many times, if I look up trivia on this movie or TV show, there's just no way I stump you. Look, uh, uh, Game of Thrones or what? I think that would probably be the best. Game of Thrones, let's do fucking Game of Thrones. I mean, up to maybe like season five, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anything before season five? I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. After uh, that, it was like, Let's, let's do it though. Let's do it. Yeah, though. I'm okay, ready. I'll be down. Game of Thrones. Let's do it, baby. Like... Okay. Okay. I need a second to look that up, but uh, uh, is okay, there any so the is... hot sauce is like mid level? Oh yeah, hot sauce. Little, just basic. Okay. Yeah. I see. Mexican, so, so you know. Yeah. I'll grab. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go with this. This IPA flavored hot sauce right here. Ooh, IPA flavored beer flavor. infused hot sauce. I need a second on to look that up on the okay. side. Is there is there any features or anything uh, on the EP, or is it just just you guys? No. Um. What? Well, so uh, they're not actual features, um, but we have had help from different friends recording the album because yeah. I think the important thing to keep in mind is although it's four of us up on stage, is not four of us behind the scenes. It's like a group of friends that we all support each other help each other um the songwriting process isn't just like me or the guys it's all of our friends putting an in input and being like hey like um this would sound really cool here and we just kind of roll with it and like supporting each other um so no features but just collaborations between like friends that really care about the music um the way it sounds uh, but no other artists featured or anything yeah i got you no, not, not this time no worries well, time. well let's see yeah. it let's see if we're drinking here let's find out here we go at the end of season okay, two me. in Game of Thrones, Joffrey sits on the Iron Throne, but who is actually the rightful king? Oh, uh, what well, would be? He stands for right? Because he has that actual claim to the throne. At that time, there is like the War of the Five. Is it the War of the Five Kings? Yeah, but. The well, Baratheon like the... bloodline because Robert died and then Renly. Oh yeah, would have to be Stannis, right? I think so. Cause, yeah, because Renly did die. It so, would be Stannis. I think it's we're gonna go with Stannis. Stannis that is Renly. correct. Hell yeah. That oh, is yeah. correct. Hey, that's a battle with Blackwater. Yeah, battle with Blackwater. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn, man, <laughs> damn it! I'm gonna look up another one in a minute, but Good let's luck, do man. let's do some fun ones. So let's say after after you guys won that battle. Did you do anything fun? Did you pop any champagne? Or, or after a really good show, do you have like a ritual or go-to <laughs> munchy snack or anything like that after a good show? I mean, that Denny's? yeah, we usually go to Denny's, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's open late. There's not much in the desert. So we'll go to Denny's, uh, maybe smoke a little bit, drink a little bit. That's like usually that. it. We don't do nothing crazy, man. We're not. Yeah, especially if we're like, what? Especially if we're a little sauce. Like if we feel like we're... We're like we're definitely going to like that. <laughs> like it's the spot. <laughs> do you, are you? Do you uh, indica sativa or a little mix of both? I would say, yeah, I would say like hybrid, but like, like at home, Indo for sure. I'm kind of like a mood guy. Yeah, 
My bad. I didn't mean to cut you off, Jose. Yeah. Oh, no, you're fine. I'm, I'm a. Say these guys do smoke. Okay, I'm a sativa guy, but no, uh, no, no. at night I will do do an indica. But I kind of don't really care. It's just weeds, weeds, weed. Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Do you ever? Do you guys have anything that uh, <laughs> that like? During work, though. Do you have any any phobias or anything that freaks you out personally? Mm. Mm. I don't like butterflies. Just randomly. You don't like butterflies? What? Yeah, bro. I don't fuck. With butterflies. <laughs> I don't fuck with butterflies. Uh-huh. Can you can you elaborate? Like why though? Why? I don't know. Ever since I was young, dude, they were just it's like creepy. Maybe it's that SpongeBob episode where they show like a little butterfly. But, uh, <laughs> I can't do it, dude. Like I've always been like just or flying insects. Just in general, I'm like no, like. I own tarantulas, so I can do spiders and like snakes and geckos and shit. But like butterflies and flying insects, nah, dude, I'm scared. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. <laughs> I don't think I've ever gotten that answer. But Ricardo, what would you say? What freaks you out? I would say I've never had to deal with them personally, but like centipedes, I feel like they're pretty. They're very weird. Weird insects. It's all the it's all the little oh. legs, just like also, poisonous, touching so, you, like you know, or venomous, right? Yeah, they're venomous. They'll get you. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. <laughs> Those little yeah. bastards will get you. Hell yeah. Well, let me see if I can stump you one more time on uh, on the uh, Game of Thrones trip. Let's try this one more time. I don't know if this is hard or easier. I've seen every episode of Game of Thrones. I did not know this answer. Can you tell me the name of Arya Stark's sword? Arya Stark. Needle. Yeah. Uh, needle. Damn it! Needle. Give me a needle. hell yeah! <laughs> That is correct. <laughs> you guys have definitely seen Game of Thrones a bunch of times for sure. Yeah, we nerds. There you go. Cheers, cheers, cheers. <laughs> Feel free to dive in if, if you want, just just for the hell of it, you know. But you obviously okay. you obviously do not have to. <laughs> hell yeah, way to be a trooper. Way to be a trooper. There you go, there you go. So let's say let's say the EP comes out. <laughs> Albums are, I mean, uh, labels are freaking out, and they they want they want you guys involved, whether it's a booking agent or or whatever the case may be. And they say, okay, where do you guys want to play in the world? Where do you want to play more than anywhere else? Ooh. That's a good question. Um, um, if we if we can get the fan base over there, uh, um, out Japan would be tight. Yeah, that'd be really sick. Japan would be crazy dope. Japan, uh, even Mexico, like Mexico, like I'd be down. Oh yeah, Mexico, like, Latin America, Mexico, countries. Like, yeah. That's where that's where we feel at home too. Just it, anything I, like that, yeah. For sure. That's kind of like your guys' market too. Is like those like like uh, Spanish speaking yep. or or like bilingual places. I feel like is is like your market for just popping. Hell yeah, uh, everyone yeah, everyone has a worst gig ever. Do you recall a particular show where everything went wrong? Can you talk about it? Uh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> um, fuck, dude. The early froggy stuff. Yeah, right? that stuff was rough. Uh, also, the what was the one we did with um, no. the Downey? Or the Hurricane Show. That one was pretty wild. Shows up. The one we went to go to Cynthia's, uh, or not Cynthia, your mom's uh, friend's baby shower, and we had to like, oh, drive yeah. Dude. Hurricane. Okay, yeah. So, this was in like August, bro, and like uh, it was when all the rains were happening. We had to go down there, and like we were playing a party, like a, a private, like backyard party. That tropical storm. Yeah, it was that tro- tropical storm, and then so like there was water, and like the place they wanted to play us play out was like outside. It was outdoors under the tarp, full of water, and like all our equipment, like because we have subs and speakers, and we were just like, there's no way we're risking our stuff, and like uh, we almost didn't play because we were just like no. Oh, like we're not gonna risk our gear like short circuiting just because of water. Yeah. But um they ended up being really accommodating and it was fun afterwards, but just like we've never been so worried about like our amps, our gear, <laughs> and just being like Did yeah, you end up dude. did you end up playing dude, under like, the tarp or did they like agree yeah. to move you somewhere? No, we well we moved up to a different tarp because we yeah. it was a baby shower, so we had to move some of the tables and I was like, Look, the only way we can do it is if we play right here, not where you guys want us to play at, like just switch it up. And uh it was either that or we don't play, so they were like, luckily, they were friends of ours. So they yeah. were like, no, yeah, whatever you guys got to do, like, let's do it. But even on the way there, our gear got fucking wet. And like, yeah, I, I had, like, maybe dude. three inches of water inside my bass drum. Because yeah. I, uh, I have the porthole on top of it, and I didn't, like, flip 
the bass drum the correct way. So like for like 30 minutes on the way down there, there's just water going inside the bass. And there's just like that much, like maybe like two inches of water inside my bass that I had to like just drain everything oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, for a couple of days actually. Yeah, I had to dry everything. That that did suck. That, that process sucked. Sucked. I wonder what that would sound like. Like if you just oh, left it in that. and you'd kick it and it would just pop out the little porthole. Like it probably wouldn't sound <laughs> well, yeah uh, that amazing. I would yeah. guess. Unfortunately, but. yeah, they say that water will really ruin the bass drum, but I haven't had any issues since. Like I took everything out and I was able to like have. I essentially took all the hardware off of the all my drums and I just dried everything off by hand and then set a fan over for like two days. And just let it completely air out and thankfully I, I haven't had any issues with it so no no weird warping or no nothing so thankfully everything worked out okay cool yeah, yeah, but we, it was a fun it was a fun show afterwards <laughs> awesome are we allowed to know the title of the ep if not can you talk about how the process of how you came up with the name without revealing it i think I think it's just a volume one, like a self-titled volume one type of EP. Okay. Mostly because um, I think it didn't, we couldn't think of anything that really felt right unless it was like a full length. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then it was just kind of like, well, this is who we are. And this is what our first album demonstrates that we are. So maybe Los Combi volume one. Um, and it was, so we recorded with our friend Javi up here in the desert. And it was uh, a few sessions um and it felt really natural i mean we experimented with certain things but we also didn't want to go over the top because our our method is um try to make it to sound like we do live uh because we don't want to fool people like i don't want to get some because we don't have backing tracks when we show up to a show so it's just like we want everything to sound the way it would like if you saw us in concert so we tried to kind of stay true to that as much as possible um but it was a really smooth process. We all just had fun. I mean, we all like to smoke and drink. So we all just smoked, drank, recorded mm -hmm. uh, um, just with our friends. And just, I mean, I'm really into like recording and like, like engineering and stuff. So I'm a little bit pickier with certain things that I like. But our friend was, uh, he was really accommodating. Um, just kind of really heard me out a lot and stuff. And yeah, it, was, uh, it was really seamless, really awesome, um, really cool process. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, talk, walk me through how a Los Combi song starts from scratch. Like, does it start with like a vocal mm -hmm. melody, a riff on guitar? Are you guys just jamming in practice oh. and everyone kind of jumps in and, and just vibes it to a song? Like how, how do you start a song from scratch? That's kind of how it is, honestly. Like either one of us will have like an idea of like, Hey, I think this really sounds cool or just like certain song structure. Like I've made this melody. I think it'll really fit. And then through that, like just kind of jamming, we've talked about doing like maybe uh, like uh, a retreat kind of thing where it's like we have like ideas and then we go for a, out for like a week or so and then just really focus on everything, getting it like all sewn together. But right now, like band the, camp. Process, the process has been band camp like so far. Yeah, it's honestly just like if one of us has an idea. We'll just kind of hear it out. We'll like play around with it and then we'll just start adding more stuff. And then just kind of like however, like however we feel about it or like however, yeah. or like whatever emotions we're feeling at that time, we'll kind of just like play into it. So it's usually vocals and lyrics come last. Yeah. Um, just because we have to make sure that everything's good. And like if I really can't think of anything, like melodically or like lyrically it's like okay well maybe we should just move on because it's not it's not sitting together properly but um usually it's chords um it's a riff um something like that like the intro song on the album is actually a precursor to beverly mm -hmm. and that was made with the intention of being okay like we need an intro to beverly and that was something that i kind of busted out more so myself and then i told the guys i was like what do you guys think like any idea he is this and that and we all kind of worked on it together and then our lyrics and everything came last and it was just kind of fit really good because we also understand where we're supposed to be musically but yeah usually lyrics and voice last for sure just to make sure it really fits yeah is, is there is there times when the vocals do come around that it causes the arrangement of the song to be a little differently because of how you're singing it like a certain melody will will cause like oh i should bow out on guitar to let the vocal shine here like does that change things oh yeah yeah for sure yeah for 
for sure. I mean, because we're really big on dynamics and uh, making sure. I think the big, biggest thing is like making sure the music sounds as good as possible for us personally, because that's what we care about. Like, we don't care about like, oh, we'll do like I have this solo, and like if I don't get to do this solo, this and that's like, no, it's not what the song needs. Like the song comes first, because that's yeah. that's our art form. Like that's what we want to present to the world, and um, especially with like Beverly, like there's a little acapella part that we came out afterwards and we were just like well the drums and the vocals would sit really nice right here so what if everyone just stops playing like you know it's not about showing off it's just about making that final product as polished as possible so yeah, yeah for sure i mean we hold back a lot sometimes like you know it's, it's not about Definitely. egos or showing off or anything it's, yeah it's even, about the song I can, I can uh, dig it. even like right now we have like like yeah. a handful of songs that, that we kind of like we're, we sat down with we're like oh should this song should we start working working with this song and put it into the ep so like even though we have the six song ep we still have like a couple more in the back burner that we didn't feel comfortable yeah. releasing just yet but like we're still kind of working on like through that process as well like because obviously we want to make sure that the music kind of really is cohesive and also like just make kind of accessible to whoever like really just kind of digs the sound yeah. you know we're not really trying to pertain to any, any particular like genre or style like we have like our notes that we that we feel comfortable with but obviously just like the we have like the indie rock feel but we don't want to be like too much into one specific genre because we also like to ex like experiment and play different stuff as well too yeah for sure hell yeah uh fellas is there anything that we did not get to today that you think we should know about or discuss before we before we let you guys go um i mean we just appreciate the opportunity to be on here uh, we're yeah, really definitely. glad um, I don't know, even just to win was just, like, such a big, like, deal, because, like, that's not necessarily our intention. We just kind of like to showcase what we do. Mm -hmm. And um, if you guys don't know about us, we're a small band from the high desert. Uh, we practice outside of this refurbished bus. Yeah. There's no seats. It's all just, like, drums, mixers, speakers, amps, like, guitars. Um, and that's kind of where the Los Combi, uh, it's like a yeah. bus in Spanish is kind of where we come from. And, like, we're very DIY um, everything is just us, like, um, with a few help from some friends, but hopefully, um, I don't know, man, we just love music, love what we do, we're very passionate, and just, just hopefully we keep growing with the support of everybody, and hopefully everyone likes our sound, or, you know, the right people, the right fan base, and the, that's who we are, man, we're just, we love the music, we don't, we're not rock stars, dude, like, we yeah, don't party bro. like that, like, we don't do nothing you're, crazy. You're humble. Man, we're just, yeah, we just love our music. Yeah. Humble Shout and hungry. That like our music right now. <laughs> hum humble and hungry. And yeah. I love that. Hell yeah. We're, we we slightly we slightly lost you again. Oh, there we go. We, we this goes in and out like every couple minutes, okay. but we, but we're back. We're good. We're good. Well, springtime Sorry, EP right. Volume One coming out maybe some more dates up and down the coast of california i'm sure that i'll reach out and have you guys jump on something if, if it's cool with you in the future gig wise but uh you Thank guys you were awesome man yeah. congratulations yeah, on winning awesome. the battle and uh like i said we look forward to the ep you. but you guys are awesome man thank you so much for doing this oh well, you're awesome man thank, thank you man. man we appreciate it for real thank you everyone guys. watching is awesome so thank you guys so thank much. you guys I'm gonna guys, I'm gonna sure. uh, put oh, yeah. this on YouTube tomorrow morning. I'll send you the link tonight so you can let everybody know before it drops yeah. and all that good stuff. But uh, gentlemen, enjoy the rest of your day. You definitely know your Game of Thrones trivia, uh, but just uh, <laughs> you, you're awesome, man. I appreciate you guys, uh, you off, huh? <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's go, yeah, Hell yeah! Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, guys. See you, fellas. Yeah.